Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Wednesday. Welcome to Sam Livecast. Glad to have you here. Kitchen today only. Stir fry day. Ginger beef on rice. One of my favorite things. Super delicious. Ginger beef. Nice. You know what? I put this little steak in the freezer. Oh god. Trying to get it. Trying to get it firm so that it would cut nicely. You think it's getting there? No, it's not getting there. Damn it. So just let me get, hey, look at the thing about, about uh, um, stir frying is that it goes fast and you need everything ready. All set at the time you start. Correct, Lynn? Very correct. You got that Very right on the cool. nose. And this is why you wash your vegetables. Look at that. What pig pen did this crap come out of? Mm, it's fresh. I only need a couple of them. I like the lighter uh, stalks. Always have. I like saving the leaves. Do you like doing that? I love the leaves. That barbecue, the um, buffalo chicken pizza that uh, we make, yeah. that we did on here. You should go check it out, by the way. Blue cheese dressing, chicken that's been uh, mushed around in uh, butter and Frank's Red Hot. So great. Ooh. On top and then cheese on top of it. Instead of uh, cilantro or parsley, if I have it, I like to use these little celery leaves because the buffalo concept goes with celery sticks, right? Remember that? Oh, yeah. We know that. All right, so maybe one of these will be enough. I just want these little pieces. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Just sharpen my knives. And? Super happy. You know what? I'm not good at using a steel. This is a steel. I actually don't even have a traditional one. The round thing that you go ch -ch -ch -ch. Oh, yeah, yeah. What is that one? Say what? What is that one that you just pulled out? Why is it not traditional? Uh, well, because it's flat. Oh, I got one that looks kind of like that. That's what I just used, this guy. And you like it? Oh, made all my knives really nice. Nice. I mean, look, I'm not a master chef, so. But look at this, no problem. It's just one of those things, man. Like when you have a sharp knife, you kind of like forget why you even kept your knives in such poor condition in the first place. Exactly. Not that you do, but just in general, people. No, exactly you know? right. Let me just do a little bit more here. Yeah, it's a great, it's just, I mean, you can't, there is no substituting uh, anything for a sharp knife. You gotta have a sharp knife. You gotta have a sharp knife. You gotta have a sharp knife. So whether you uh, uh, go to a sharpening guy and have him do it, mm -hmm. uh, whether you do it yourself or whatever, just get them sharp. I bet you most of the people right now go to your, go, and here's what I do. If you take a knife, I'm not going to slice my finger off, but if you just take it and put it on an angle, it shouldn't, it shouldn't go like this. You shouldn't be able to slide it along your nail, right? It should stop. That means it's sharp. That's my test. If you go like this and it just slides, it's not sharp. It seems awfully dangerous. Yeah, it depends. No, it's not dangerous. That's just my test. I'm just saying, figure out if it's sharp or not. If it's not sharp, get them sharp. God damn it. Some people say you can hold up like a piece of paper. Right. Piece of paper, it. do that little yeah. thing. And... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, my God. Sorry. Ooh, it's a, it's a lot of noise. Okay, let me start some heat here. Hey, we were talking about your walk the other day at home. What were you saying? We were saying how, um, so I had, a, I had some friends that said, hey, like, you know, we bought some walks, but we threw it away because it wasn't any good anymore. I was like, well, what's wrong with it? Because I was thinking maybe it just got black, like kind of like yours did. Yeah. By the way, I'm using some leftover onion that I've got. Nice. Purple and uh, red and uh, yellow. But I was going to say that's what you want. You want to buy like a brand new walk and then you want it to get like kind of... Uh, like this. Yeah, yeah. This walk, when it started, Seasoned. was silver inside. And now look, slowly getting darker, darker, darker. Carbon steel, flat bottom. Actually, this puppy came from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. That's oh. the make. Infuse. This walk was less than 20 bucks. And I always say, if my house caught on fire, I'd get the people out, I'd get my pets, my computer, and then I'd grab my walks. The days of expensive, time-consuming website creation people are over. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. You know what that is? That's a square space. 
That's where you need to go. Squarespace.com. They will make your website not just beautiful, but in a ridiculously financially affordable way. Does that even make sense? Financially affordable? I think it does. Check them out. Squarespace.com. You don't believe me? They're doing my website. Where do you see it? We blow your mind. Blow your mind. And this is cool. If you put my name Sam in the promo box at checkout, you'll get 10% off your order. You got to like that. Carbon steel, that's what it was. Carbon steel flat bottom. That's what you want. Don't mess around with anything else. So who cares how you cut these onions? It doesn't matter. Just whatever. Whatever pieces you got, right? We're going to do this. These are going to go in the wok. What the hell? Let's put this in too. The celery. Turn that heat up. All right, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. Everybody's happy so far. I've got ginger and garlic that I now have to deal with that I can do. Mrs. Cooking Guy just came home. She's been MIA all afternoon. <laughs> all afternoon. Okay, ginger. We did this the other day. There is no substituting for fresh ginger like there's no substituting for a sharp knife. Kel, I can't find my phone. It's real serious. <laughs> You're laughing at you. I want like three tablespoons of this. So uh, you just cut all this nasty outside woodiness off. This is not the best looking ginger, no, boy. No, it's not. No. I gotta say, that's nice. This blue, like blue cheese on the outside. Well, when it gets kind of like, you know, like thready or... Whatever it's Extra called. woody? Yeah, it's like fibrous. You know, it's oh, mother. Ginger. Shit. I'm not happy now. But you know what? It's going to work. It's just going to work out, man. It's just going to. I believe you, man. When does it never work out here? Well, it usually does. And we fake it if it, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm only kidding. We don't fake it. Uh. Okay, so I need like at least one more times this much. Not Water. only do we not fake it, but we generally post it to Facebook or Twitter right after. When we do screw it, yeah. right? Kind of funny. Well, that's important. People need to know that you can make mistakes, and those other cooking shows don't let you see that. I'm not really a fan of this piece of ginger here today. Ginger goes fast, so if you're going to buy it... I bought this today, man. Oh, well... And this was the... I'll tell you something. What you want is you want... Nice tight skin. Think about the skin on ginger. Mm -hmm. Like uh, here, look at. See, it's nice and tight. You want skin that resembles skin of a young person, not skin of an old person. Not that there's anything wrong with skin of an old person, but so this just gets chopped up. Everything super fine. Hmm. Little oil. That's going to be beautiful. Nice walking skills. Thank you. Turn the fan on. So you're kind of pre cooking the veggies a little bit, right? Yep. And you're going to crank up the heat later? Yeah. So what's going to happen is. I'll throw the ginger in right now. Do this. I need some garlic. A couple of three big cloves. Back up, Maxi, one second. I'll use my press because I'm canning and it will go faster. Garlic, one. Garlic too. Garlic three. Oh God, the smell! All of a sudden, just really came out here. Back of my knife. Nice, right? Really fragrant, smelling amazing in here. Stop it right now. I'll take it out. Get this stuff out. 
Okay, it stays on the heat. Okay, Maxi, back up. Chuck Lucky. Okay, here's this little piece of steak that I could have I could have gotten a lot harder. Okay, somebody say it. That's somebody say said. it. That's what, That's what she, she said. said. Thank you. We haven't you're said that. All in juveniles, man. Mm -hmm. You're all juveniles. <laughs> So let's see, grain goes this way. I want to cut that way. So I'll do this. That looks pretty uh, frozen to me. Uh, it's okay. You know, the hardest part is trying to cut with this camera in my face. Because <laughs> I can't really see shit. There we go. So thin, right? The goal is if it's thin, uh, it'll be more tender, it'll cook faster, and you'll be happier with it. Just make sure you cut across the grain. Cut across the grain, that's the key. Don't be a fool. No, you break up those little fibers when you cut across the grain. And that's what you want. You don't want, uh, you don't want to cut with the grain because you'll be screwed. I don't know okay, if it's a little fat, but this guy was a little too fatty for me. But nice little thin pieces. And the fat will melt a little bit and just add a little bit of flavor. So you don't have to freak out about it. Okay, look at my, my wok now. My wok is steaming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Steaming hot. So here's what's going to happen. Do this. Crank it all the way. Give it another second. Vegetables smelling good. Go that way. Sunny boy. I need soy sauce. Housewife. Nice. There she is. The housewife soy sauce. The best. Sesame chili oil, my standard components. A little oil right here. In goes the beef. Separate it a little bit. You can see how fast it's cooking, right? Yeah. Come on. There you go. Just as the pink is leaving, the vegetables will go in. Just, just. I'm going to add soy sauce, which is going to add uh, salt. I'm going to add the chili oil, which is going to add spice. I really don't need to add too much anything else to this. I want it to taste like ginger, like beef, like the vegetables. Look how fast it starts to slow down. And now I'm pissed off because look what happens sometimes. Now I gotta do this. You gotta get the water out. Get that liquid out. Yeah. See, here's the problem. The problem with like civilian houses like this, when it's not a walk <coughs> restaurant, you know, not a big Chinese restaurant, is that you just don't have the heat. If I was trying to be super careful, I would have done like half the beef, take it out, put the other half in. But I'm being stupid and I'm rushing and I just want to get... Really, I'm rushing because Lynn wants to go buy a beer. <laughs> in the worst freaking way possible. Oh my god, I, oh for my once gosh. I'm not getting blamed for wanting to Hey, it's here. a good beer, man. For those beer geeks, plenty of the younger season. And like, no one knew what I talked about, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, vegetables go in. Tiny little pink left. Tiny little bit. Come, Max. <laughs> Hey, hey, pay attention. Oh. Look, just a little bit, right? Yeah. But we're doing fine. So now the vegetables go in. Oh, that's going to be good. Give it just a second to come together. Let me get some rice. I'll just do a little bowl for me right now. <whistles> Kelly. You like this? <laughs> okay, come here. And you can have this. Rice for Mrs. Cooking Guy. Here's what it gets. It gets a little bit of the sesame chili oil. There. 
and a little soy. Hey, how often do you think you stir fry a week? Lynn just said, how often do we think we stir fry a week, Kel? I don't know. I'd say probably once, Lynn. Once a week? Four yeah. times a month? Not bad. Can you I tell us, so. Louie? <laughs> okay, here we go. Put the bowl down, please. Quit talking to Max. Just pit, let me do my work. There's some reason I'm out For God's hey. sakes. There you go. How's that look? Wait, 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 wait. Look what I have. <laughs> oh, Mary. Oh, green onions. Boom. So let's see. Let's let the mother take a bite. Are you sure you want to have her? Oh, are you sure you're going to have her do it? Oh, yeah. You know what? Just forget it. Take it. Give it. <laughs> it's delicious. Oh, my God. You know what? <laughs> Don't ever try and get a job as a taster on television or anything. Mm. <laughs> mm hmm. It's ginger beef. It's fantastic. And it's not spicy at all. <laughs> okay, you know what? How long have we been married? How many years have we been married? 30, right? Mm -hmm. It's about to end. Mm -hmm. I want out. I want somebody that enjoys my cooking better than this. <laughs> all right, Bob. All right. As we always say, thanks for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. Tell your friends. That's the way that our show grows. And if you tune in Friday, you won't see Kelly because I'm done with her now. <laughs> if anybody wants her, send an email to <laughs> I'll take her at thecookingguy.com. <laughs> oh my God, that's very impressive. <laughs> Thanks wait, for wait, being go here. To, go to camera one, Lynn. Wait, what? A couple things first. Yeah. Twitter, Cooking Guy, handle at the Cooking Guy. Go there. Facebook.com slash send the Cooking Guy. Roku channel. Go buy Roku, subscribe, give us the ratings. Mm. My Twitter handle is at Maxwell Zion. You can get some more behind the scenes stuff while we shoot Bed Bath, uh, live cast stuff. Lynn is MC4 Lynn. Follow us all. My dad hates me and I love you guys. See ya. <laughs> wow. Bye. Hey, I have a simple request. When you're done watching this, not now, when you're done, call a friend, tell them you just watched this, you liked it, they should watch. Turn people on to us. That way we can do more, better, bigger things for you. Promise. More people watch, you get more better shit at home. You get more better stuff at home. Promise. See ya.